Which is a better Toronto investment, pre-construction or resale? Why is pre-construction so expensive uh, comparing to resale? Hello friends, Jesse Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker. And today we're going to discuss and explore buying and investing in Toronto real estate pre-construction versus Toronto real estate resale. So let's go. Uh, you also Kaplan here, UrbanRealtyToronto.com, where you find all the information on how to invest, projects coming out, uh, projects that I like, master plan communities, investing, buying, selling, all the links at the bottom, okay? Uh, YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Thank you very much for the likes up, for the likes down, for subscribing, hit that bell, share that thing. It's amazing, you know, when I make a video that is positive, uh, my the rates are going down. And when I say, say it's going to crash, the rates are coming up. It's human nature. Uh, but I'm a positive person, so it's always going to be positive. Because, okay, Twitter.com slash Jesse Kaplan. Uh, tune in here to get, to get all the news. Everything gets funneled in here from every website. Whatever I do, it just shows up on a Twitter. So um, here is uh, Tridel's The Well. Okay, and this is a phenomenal project, unbelievable. I'm running here through the PDF brochure. If you want it, send me an email, I'll, I'll give it to you. Um, and it's, it's a master plan community, Front of Spadina. If you remember where uh, Toyota on front used to be for many years, it's right there. And it's taken an entire block. The, the old Globe and Mail uh, building was there too. Uh, so it's basically going between um, uh, Front and one side and Wellington in the other. And Spadina, and then west, uh, halfway through that giant block, all the way to King West, more or less. Okay, so this is what, what it is. Um, and the reason I'm picking this project is because, first of all, uh, I picked it as my top uh, three master plan communities um, for Toronto, and that's that's been uh, quite a few months ago, but to me, it still is. Okay, and uh, this this project will get built. It's get built in an astonishing rate, by the way. Um, I, I see it when I pass by it almost every day, uh, but that's the project, my friends. That is a serious, serious project. So I'm going to dive into it and use the well, um, and we'll go over what it is, and I'll show you prices, and then I'll use that as per construction uh, example because it's expensive, uh, much more expensive than other stuff you can get. So we'll take a look. So first of all, what you look here, you look at this uh, uh, giant, giant uh, project. Um, these are the, the classic one, the signature one and two, and uh, the commercial buildings. Okay, and the other side, so that's, I'm looking north now from, my back is to the water. Okay, so that's Wellington down here. Well, that's front, that's front down here, and I'm, I'm looking north. And here's some other views. That's, uh, I think that's the corner of front and Spadina there. Yeah, it is, it's right here. Okay, and they explain to you what you can do here. So I'll, I'll give you a quick run through this. Okay, um, well located, absolutely. I mean, you know, you're crossing Spadana, you, you like the downtown core, uh, but on but really, you're at King West, it's kind of cool. Um, and that's an area no one ever thought that it's gonna develop at all. But um, look what's happening there now. So it gives you a location here there's Spadina, uh, there's Front, there's Wellington, there's King West, there's Queen West, Entertainment District, and Financial District. So, very convenient. Also, you can walk the Union if you needed to jump on the train on the up, on the go, on the bus, uh, subway's pretty close too, you can just walk the University and King, I think that'll be right, Union here, so St. Andrew Station. Um, you know, it's got, it's got a huge mall built in, which is very, very cool. The place is huge, it's got a huge mall built in, kind of a, of a and you know, we have six months of cold here, it's not gonna change anytime soon, not in our lifetime. So it's really nice to be able to just go downstairs and you're in the mall and you're covered and there's lots of people and there's a bit of community there. So it's multi-level. It's really cool and really interesting. I've seen this actually abroad, sitting in Tel Aviv where I grew up. That, that's very common, these type of malls. Uh, there they have the other problem, it's too hot. So they go to the mall just to cool off because it's free air conditioning. So they go and um, this mall, you know, these malls are basically designed to fit the environment around. So obviously this mall will be more upscale, fancy shopping, all that stuff, fancy restaurants, probably everything very expensive, but so are the units. Okay, visionary retail concept, but it gives you an idea of what they're building here. Okay, it doesn't mean the bookstore will be there, but kind of the architect's idea of, of what will go there. And it'd be really nice to see bookstores. And look at this, it's really beautiful. It's gorgeously covered. So it's really a, a 365 uh, mall. You know, look at this, there's very, very cool areas to eat, areas to read, areas to hang out, shopping, eating hanging out, 
Um, this building here, that's, the, that's uh, the commercial building, probably more than one. I believe the Shopify got a quarter million feet in here, and they have a total of one million uh, square feet of, uh, of commerce. Okay, so one million square feet of commerce, imagine how many jobs that bring. Um, whether it's the people that tend to the facilities, the people that sell, the stocking, uh, all the companies that have to support all these operations, it's huge. Okay, so that's like thousands and thousands of jobs available. Um, and you can see this, this, uh, this is definitely not a residential, but a commercial. Okay, that's the corner there. That's, that, I think that's the bottom of this building here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so Shopify is going to go in there. And Shopify just passed 1,000 workers in Ottawa. Congratulations. Uh, it's the Canadian uh, uh, antidote to Amazon these days. It just shows you um, what, what it takes. And here's the map of the project. And it's important because you know, I'll go on and explain why is it so expensive. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a price in about 60 seconds. Uh, that's the Wellington side. So that's the commercial. These are the uh, classic buildings and the signature of the tall behind them. And uh, King West is right here, starts right here. Okay, Cat Park. And here's, here's another view from the air of um, these line uh, looking buildings. Remind me of the Royal York, by the way. The Sphinx of the Royal York, right? That's designed after the Sphinx. So you can see it's kind of similar. Pause. And it's a, it's a Roman Masonian architecture, if you will. Um, Toronto Island, so you know, the location is phenomenal. There's the gardener, and there's, there's there will be more coming to the area. But this is this is the piece. This is the piece here that you know if you get in, you're in for a long time, and and the jobs are right here. So if you own a unit and you live there, it's great. Maybe you work in the area, or you own a unit and you rent it to a Shopify engineer. And I and I showed you in a previous video um, how to basically rent, how to make money off Shopify and Google, and that's you buying condos where they work and you rent it to their engineers. They're, they're very transient. They bring engineers from all over the world. Uh, most of them from outside of Canada come from India, of course. And a lot come from Canada, from Waterloo. And uh, there is a, here, how to make real estate money off shop, Google and Shopify. And that's the idea. The idea is that you basically you buy the condo here and then you rent it to the engineers that are going to live next door, are going to work next door. Okay, so now they go over the, the various buildings and show you, okay, it's really long. Um, more and more brochures, uh, some prices. Okay, so look at this. Uh, this is the signature series of the tall buildings. And here they have uh, 1,400 square feet uh, with a tiny, tiny balcony on the eighth floor for one, $2 million. So those are $2 million units, 1,500 square feet. So quick, uh, only one coffee today. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? We got two million, two, and six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Divide. I'm just gonna round it up. Fifteen hundred, and you get thirteen thirty-three a foot. So it's slightly higher because it's slightly less square feet here. Um, let's look at one of these large units. Let's see the most expensive units here. So there's a penthouse for um, four point one seven five zero zero zero, just for kicks. Twenty-six two two, and a nice balcony. So that's sixteen hundred a foot. Okay. For this large unit, so you can see the prices here start at 13.33 and go up. Um, very, very expensive, much more expensive than resale. And after I review this, here they show you the floor plan. These are large, and mind you, these are large, large units. Here we go. Okay, and there's a color coded here, 1500 plus, 15 to 2000, 2025, and 2500 plus. So like this unit here, the penthouse. Uh, but even this penthouse here, it doesn't get the whole floor. Move the head. Okay. Okay, so you, you, you see what I'm saying here. Okay, very expensive, large units, uh, not too many units in the building. Obviously, the, uh, the fees will be the same. So you look at the condo fees for the penthouse, 2500 a month. But, you know, if you're spending uh, $4.2 million on the penthouse plus the taxes and all that, it doesn't really matter. So it's 30000 a month to, uh, for the condo fees and $25,000. Uh, so 50, 50 55000 after you paid, because you probably paid cash for it anyways. So it costs you, say, 50, 60 a year, 60000 a year, round it up um, for one year um, to maintain that, that penthouse. Okay, so it may not make uh, pure investment sense in this way, but penthouse is penthouse. Uh, nonetheless, when you look at uh, smaller units, I think I had some uh, ready for us. Uh, the smaller units, uh, I don't know if it's open here, 
But the smaller units, uh, they're about eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars for about five hundred fifty square feet, something like that. So eight fifty divide by say five hundred fifty square feet, something like that. So they're fifteen fifteen forty five a foot. So that makes sense. So the smaller the unit, the higher dollar per foot. Uh, and now let's compare this. Right, so I'll show you this one. This one is similar. Um, oh, here. Okay, so 527 square feet, 682. So calculator again. We'll do this, and then we're going to look at the resale prices, and we're going to do a comparison and try to realize what's going on here. So it's, uh, I'm just going to just going to pick one in the middle. How about this one right here? So 727, 500. Divide by 558, 1300 foot. Okay, that's a deal, right? Uh, let's look at something slightly more expensive, like here 837, 500, divide by 660, that's 1268 a foot. Okay, so that's getting cheaper as the, dollar, as the uh, square footage arises. So the smaller unit here will be this one, or 672, 680. Uh, probably this one will have the highest BSF, 682, 500, divide by 527. 12, so actually, the small units here are cheaper than the larger units. That, that's quite interesting. Uh, usually, it's the other way around. And here you get, uh, you can see it's about 1 million for 800 square feet and 1.1 million for 900 square feet. So if I have 1, 100, 1, 2, 3, divide by 878, 1252. So that, those, are, those are the prices here. Nonetheless, it's, it's quite a bit. Um, you know, for a two-bedroom, one million. I remember I, I did the, I did the video uh, one bedroom, one million. <clears throat> so here, that's two bedroom, one million. You can still get a house for that. Don't forget that. Uh, and if I look at uh, like a thousand square feet here, so that'll be twelve fifty. Okay, I just got to remove three zeros. So twelve fifty a foot is the average of the classic two series. Twelve fifty a foot. Okay, so let's look at uh, let's look at resale. So go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, uh, any page. Go to the footer. This is basically where I reviewed um, the well. It came number one, still not number one in my in my personal gallery. Number two, and cross down number three. I'm I'm still sticking to my guns here. Um, master plan communities. It's the way to go. Uh, so we're just gonna do the general search here, and I'm gonna show you condos.ca and compare these two. Uh, they draw from the same database, but they don't analyze the information the same. So we'll do that and uh, watch here, and. Even without the square footage analysis, uh, just by way of this map. So, by the way, what I did is I went to Toronto, uh, urbanrealtytoronto.com, Urban Urban listing updated 24 7. Hit this. I got this page, okay? Uh, so, let's zoom into Toronto C1, which is downtown west, which includes the King West, okay? So, that's the well area. It's going to fall right in there. And what I'll do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you're welcome to follow with me here and do it the same on your computer and then you click on uh, redo search here and especially it's, it's going to do a search on the map to what's available here let's go down even further in and here's the area with the wall so that's Spadina in front that's where the wall obviously there's nothing for sale there right now because it's not built um, and now I'm going to do I'm going to do a filter uh, at least one bath 300,000 and let's just max it at uh, 2 million for now Okay, so now the number of properties is still tons and tons of properties. Okay, let's 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 look at. Uh, there's nothing on the five, anyways, but one more. Did you notice there's 160 uh, units uh, for sale over a million? I just look at the number here. So uh, right here, and now you can start hitting these numbers and see what's available. So now you got. Uh, it's the first one that came. So 101 Peter, 2911, two bath, two bath, 868. So that's less than a million. Uh, and the square footage here would be, uh, does he say, uh, we'll estimate it, let's say 750. So that that's quite high actually. Um, so that's more or less in line, but don't forget that uh, new construction still ha have higher I mean, they both have to pay uh, uh, tax, land trust tax, but no construction has closing costs. So that's another 10, 20, 30,000. Uh, in this case here, 868, let's say I get it for 850. Because, you know, um, when I buy resale, I try to pay the less. So that's 1133. 
Okay, so the, the, the next thing I'll do is I'll go to condos.ca and I'll see if the uh, the dollar per foot, the PSF average available for 101, Peter. So, and by the way, they fix condos.ca, uh, uh, the stats are back, but they're wildly, they fluctuate by about 10% when they put them. So, I can't really tell you anymore. You know, I used to uh, relay relay on condos.ca quite a bit, but I can't really tell you anymore because who knows what's going on with them. But for the buildings, it's good. You know, they need to issue some statement what happened there so we can trust them again, but they haven't done it. Uh, so here, the average PSF, take care. Uh, the average PSF is 1122, and that one was 1133. So, you know, it's within range. It's actually within range, and you can see here uh, what's available for sale. So that unit repeats, obviously. Um, and then if you logged in, it'll also, sh it'll also show you some extra information, uh, which is really cool. And it can show you what's sold, um, what sold recently. Uh, and that's cool because that will enable you to see uh, the resale value, so here, 4011, this unit, uh, sold for 818, 818, uh, 8 on a very high floor, 40th floor. Uh, the other one was 29th floor, asking 868. Okay, so, oh, terminate, it didn't sell, it was asking, so it didn't even sell. Okay, so 868, you know, they're probably not going to get it, okay? Um, let's say they get... Uh, even 1100 a foot or 1050 a foot, um, it's still $150 a foot less than the well. And on 800 square feet times 100, that's uh, um, 880 and times 150 is 120,000. So there's about 150, say 120 to 150,000 dollars less to buy a Peter Street condo than the well. So why would you buy the well and pay more on the unit? And pay also you have to pay the uh, development charges, which Peter you don't have to, or any of these condos you don't have to, because they're already closed. Somebody else paid it for you, okay? So that's that's the real question here. Um, let's look at a couple more, and I'll, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to explain the logic behind here, what's going on. So when we started uh, selling pre-construction a long time ago, what was happening was that pre-construction was deemed um, less safe. You know, we don't know if the builder is going to close. Uh, we don't know what we're going to do. Is it a good developer? How's it going to look like? What my kitchen's going to be like? And that's why um, people would pay less for new construction, for pre-sale. And the, but they would willing to pay more for resale because they can walk in there and they deem the risk to be less. Okay? It's all psychological. Now, what happened in the last, last few years is everyone just want to buy pre-construction because... The builders realize that in order to sell the construction, they need to give you free assignment, they need to give you right to lease during occupancy, and all these things to encourage investors to buy. Uh, and the reason investors to buy is just one, to make money, to flip these properties, or to make positive cash flow. Now, when it's so popular and people standing in line, it's been years and years now, people standing in line around the block because Canada was just so cheap, especially when you come to, from other places. Canada is so cheap. So even, even the um, Queen West... Uh, or King West here, you know, it 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 comes down, it, it comes up the price, but the but the resale has become less desirable because investors don't actually buy resale; they only buy to flip and only buy um, because they only have the twenty percent or the fifteen percent, and they just want to buy and flip it and flip it and flip it and flip it. Now I told you many times that's a very very dangerous strategy. I do not recommend it. I always recommend that you ready to close and never ever buy anything that you can't close on because you can find yourself in a situation where you can't close and that's not a good place to be, okay? Um, so when you look here, okay, um, now a lot of these units don't sell like this unit here, like been on the market forever. I know because I've looked, I've been following this one and I follow a few units. Uh, this one here hasn't sold and in my opinion, it's not going to sell for what asking, especially because someone else sold a similar unit for nine twenty-five, forty thousand 40000 less. It's about 4 or 5% less. Okay, so, um, and but they're charging only about, that unit is, this is the Toronto model, by the way, so that's uh, just over 1,000 square feet. He's asking about 960 a foot. He's probably going to get about 900 to 920 a foot. About, you know, about 900 a foot. So he's still about $65 a foot, or he's still going to come down this guy about 65. Now it's not the market's coming down. He's asking too much. Okay, you gotta understand. 
Um, the only way to measure the market is what people actually paid for. If this unit's going to come off the market because no one bought it at that price, or the seller decides he's not going to sell for less than a penny, less than 965, it's just going to get off the market. It's not going to be included in the stats anyways. And remember, I always tell you, only about half of the units posted are sold. That means that there's twice double the amount of units not sold, the units sold. Now, obviously, it could be the same unit put on the market, like this one. He can't sell it. And then what he did, um, he either has to terminate, like, well, I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to keep living there and rent it. Or <clears throat> he's going to reduce the price, the retail fashion, until he sells. That's why I prefer actually doing the reverse when you're selling your properties, which is <clears throat> put on a shrunken price and try to elicit multiple bids. <clears throat> but that's a whole other video. So what you see here is resale. And especially if you look at the... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> the condos.ca and let's say that they fix their stuff uh, 755 foot now that's average in uh, that's average if I go uh, King West <clears throat> and I believe that their local search is, is more solid um, that was not they never took it down but you can see <clears throat> it's going to load the King West strip <clears throat> and includes all the way west of Bath which actually become more expensive believe it or not <clears throat> now you hit the analytics here so King West is uh, fetching 992 a foot 994 here said so it's not it's not completely accurate but um, so it's not using the same algorithm or not looking at the same data nonetheless it's very similar so you can get you can more or less assure yourself you can get the average unit on on King West for the average price so say 600 square feet 700 square feet you know you'll pay 600 to 700,000 for this type of unit on King West um, so why is that I want to go to the well and for where are those price lists this is the one so this unit 66 square feet on King West will cost me about six hundred fifty thousand dollars okay so that's almost two hundred thousand dollars less now that's a massive massive discrepancy here okay so watch this and bear with me here. Um, <laughs> I hope it's not too boring, but it's important to understand uh, these differences because once you do, you'll be able to make very good uh, understanding of where you're going with your with your with your uh, investment decision. So here, um, and, and we also need to talk about how much would you be able to sell these units for the tri I mean, Would they keep fetching that price you paid for them, right? So this unit here, uh, eight three seven five hundred divided by six sixty. That's 1268, 12, say 1270 12, a foot. And King West, I'm pretty sure I'll get you a 600, uh, uh, 992 a foot. That's average times 660. That's 654, $650,000. Uh, minus 837,500. That's $182,000 difference. Don't worry about the minus one because I reversed it. Uh, and if I divide it by 660, so that's $276 a foot difference. That is huge. Uh, and if you divide that by the 1268, uh, that's 21, 22% discount from the high. Uh, okay. So it, it, it's a significant discount. It's about a fifth, over a fifth less from the discount. Obviously, when you go up, it's going to be a bigger difference because now you have uh, the 276 divided by uh, 992. So that's 27, 28 percent more. The well cost 27 to 28 percent more than the average King West. Okay, you understand? So if you are to buy King West, you're getting a discount over the well. So the well is right here. That's the that's right here. That's where am I? That's Padina. It's right here, right here. Search as I move. Zoom in. Okay, that's the well right in here. Okay, this is this is the box where the well goes. That's why you see no sales here. There's nothing available, and this stuff will be. Okay, so these are units within the well that they advertise. They just put a few on the market here, just that people can see. Okay, so these are other well units, uh, but that's something else. That's a development property. Okay, so that's what you're seeing here. So the question again is why you have to pay two hundred seventy-six dollars a foot more. Uh, when you buy the well, then you buy just next door. You know, I mean, uh, where are we here? 
That's a parking, that's parking. Quad loft, that's a bit older. See if I can find something a little newer for you. 66 Portland, someone is selling a large unit. Doesn't have a photo, now I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Nice unit, second floor though. Okay, so that's, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at what's going on here. How come these units, King West, even the Thompson, is cheaper than the well? The Thompson is cheaper than the well, okay? The Thompson is cheaper than the well. Everything, the fashion house is cheaper than the well. Everything is cheaper than the well. How is it working? So here's, here's what it is, my friends. I'm just going to like roam around different pictures so it's more interesting. But the way it looks is this way. The way investors look at it is they look at investing in a brand new development which is very, very high end. And you can see here, it's got, it's got the in, indoor mall. This is Toronto Comes for Sale, by the way. It's got the indoor mall, huge indoor mall. It's got beautiful units. It's got a lot of large units for selling for a lot of money. So it's a filter. It's a filter of have the have nots. If you can afford the well, you're probably gonna live there. If you can't afford it well, you can't afford it. Um, now the rents will have to be crazy to break even there. If you wanna calculate the rents, okay, you go to the counter calculator, you download this, so the rents will have to be really, really crazy. So let's do an example of the well. I just typed the well, okay, from, it doesn't make any difference, but let's say you got that one bedroom. Um, let's try this one here. One bedroom, 558, 727, okay? So it's uh, 558 square feet, and the price is 727. So that's 1300 a foot um, with 20% down, which by the way, in the well, you got to pay that 20% down within the first year. My computer is free freezing today. But when it comes back, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, it's the computer. It's not, uh, it's still connected here. Okay, so, but what? There we go. Okay, good. JavaScript is fast. So now you need the mortgage of five. Uh, you need to uh, give them 145. That's not including your closing costs, of course. 581 is the mortgage. And the estimate of the closing costs here are about 3764. Now, when you look at the price, they say give you an estimate of uh, maintenance per month 561. Okay. So if you want to know what's that uh, per foot, that's really easy. All you got to do is you got to do 561 divided by 660. That's 85 cents a foot. So the condo fees at the well are 85 cents a foot. So go back here. Uh, condo fees. And you put 85 cents. And the taxes are estimated a lot less than the taxes. So I'll give you a break on tax. I'll say something like this. Around there, so 36, uh, 36, 77 dollars. Okay, so you need to reach six dollars and fifty nine cents. That's your rent PSF required. You need six bucks and fifty nine cents. Um, how much do you get on King West right now per rent? Um, let's see if I can tell. It's about four bucks a foot. Four oh nine. Okay, four nine. That's it's averaging four nine. But I need to get six fifty nine. So I need to get a buck fifty more over four, that's almost a third more, so I'm a third short. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get the rent of $3,677 a month, that's my carrying cost on that small unit. Uh, if I put the 145,000, not including my closing costs. Obviously, you know, this unit is short $1,500 a month, so I need to put that $1,500 a month out of, out of pocket or increase my deposit in order um, to break even. So if I put 10% more, oops. On. Okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult. So what I'm gonna what, what I'm gonna tell you is this: um, the the thinking of the new construction has to be completely different. Okay, and that's that's what really like you have to understand something. 
if you buy and I'm gonna summarize it's been a long kind of slow video sorry about that but it's gonna go for it um, if if uh, if you're thinking is flipping these units maybe you'll succeed especially in a project like the will you probably succeed flipping them but you're gonna have a challenge selling this uh, 527 uh, square feet uh, unit of 600 square feet unit for a million dollars uh, flipping it forward it's gonna take some time <clears throat> so you must be ready to close on it if you close on it then you have $3,600, $3,700 a month expenses on this unit, <clears throat> then you either find a tenant and, and see if you can cover that with a tenant or pay the rest out of pocket or increase your deposit until you bring your break-even point higher so you can e you can equalize your rents and your expenses. So why would you buy here? You buy because it's quality and it's a long term and you really want the lifestyle of this mall down and all that stuff. And maybe you are a Shopify engineer or Google engineer want to live there or you're thinking, you know, in the long term, yes, I'm going to have to cover some costs out of pocket, but in the long term, this is one of the best projects in Toronto. I might as well just hold it here and hold anything inferior to it. The other reason that people buy <coughs> uh, pre-construction and not resale is because they just don't want to close right away. And they think to themselves, you know, if I put the 15 or 20% down, which I have, I don't need to close, I don't need to get a tenant, and then I have the option of close out it later and it's going to take a couple years, you know, two, three, four years to close. Um, <clears throat> so by that time, my expectation and hopes that the market will be higher and I can flip it or I can rent it for more money. And that's how they think. Now, if you're a more practical person and you want to make money now, you're going to go with the resale option, okay? Now go with the resale option. Um, obviously, you can argue, you know, you cannot argue with the developer. The developer is not going to give you a discount, but anyone here you can just offer them less. That's totally okay. You know, Yossi, I want to sell this condo. I want to sell my condo, Yossi. I will try to get you the best way possible, but, and, and that's totally fine. Within reason, it's always going to go. Every property sells within reason. They always do. Um, but <clears throat> if the seller's price is too high, it's just going to sell in the market, okay? And, and the list is going to burn. Uh, so you got to watch out. You, gotta, you just got to watch out for these things, okay? So... Nonetheless, if you need a place to live and need income now, you can find yourself a unit that use the condo calculator, okay, and run the numbers, name, email, not a robot, get e get the file emailed to you right away and open it privately on your computer and no one can see it. Somebody asked me last night, can you see what people are searching? No, I cannot. It's not, an, it's not, and that was the point of giving it a download, just take it, okay? Um, <clears throat> and, and then you can start looking at all these properties and see what fits your style, what fits your budget, and what breaks even. Okay, that was a long-winded video, but I'm, I'm going to end it up here. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, put one percent in the bottom of the comments. I'll give you a special link. Uh, there's lots of stuff going on here. Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate, buy and sell and give me a call. Thank you very much. Later.